Welcome to today's lecture on the complex topic of Sjögren's syndrome. In this lecture, we will explore the immunopathogenesis, diagnostic approach, histopathological findings, autoantibodies, extraglandular manifestations, renal involvement, management options for sicka symptoms and systemic manifestations, ocular complications and management strategies, dental considerations, pregnancy implications, and novel treatment approaches for Sjögren's syndrome. Sjögren's syndrome is an autoimmune disorder that primarily affects the exocrine glands, causing dryness of the eyes and mouth. Immune dysregulation involving T and B lymphocytes, plasma cells, and dendritic cells, as well as dysregulated cytokine production, contribute to the disease's development. This understanding is vital for developing effective treatments. Accurate diagnosis of Sjögren's syndrome is essential for appropriate management. The commonly used criteria for diagnosing Sjögren's syndrome include assessing clinical manifestations, serological markers, such as anti-SSA and anti-SSB antibodies, and histopathological findings. A stepwise approach is typically employed, involving a thorough clinical evaluation, serological testing, and minor salivary gland biopsy for confirming the diagnosis. Familiarity with these diagnostic criteria and the diagnostic process is crucial for physicians managing patients with suspected Sjögren syndrome. Histopathological examination of the lacrimal and salivary glands in Sjögren syndrome patients reveals characteristic findings. These include lymphocytic infiltrates, with predominance of CD4 plus T cells and B cells, glandular destruction, loss of acini, and fibrosis. These histological changes not only aid in confirming the diagnosis of Sjögren syndrome but also provide insights into disease severity and prognosis. Understanding these features is crucial for pathologists and clinicians alike for accurate interpretation and management decisions. Autoantibodies play a significant role in the pathogenesis, diagnosis, and prognosis of Sjögren syndrome. Various autoantibodies, such as anti-SSA, Rho, and anti-SSB, LA, antibodies, are commonly detected in Sjögren syndrome patients. These autoantibodies, along with rheumatoid factor and antinuclear antibodies, have diagnostic and prognostic value and can aid in identifying patients at risk of developing systemic complications. Furthermore, autoantibodies contribute to disease pathogenesis by promoting exocrine gland dysfunction and perpetuating the autoimmune response. Sjögren syndrome is not limited to the exocrine glands and can affect multiple organ systems, leading to various extraglandular manifestations. Renal involvement, pulmonary complications, cutaneous manifestations, and neurological manifestations are among the systemic manifestations observed in Sjögren syndrome patients. Renal involvement, in particular, can manifest as tubuloid interstitial nephritis or glomerulonephritis. Recognizing and managing these extraglandular manifestations are essential for comprehensive care and optimal patient outcomes. Renal involvement in Sjögren syndrome can range from tubuloid interstitial nephritis to glomerulonephritis, with tubuloid interstitial nephritis being the most common manifestation. Diagnostic strategies include evaluating renal function, urinalysis, urine sediment analysis, and renal biopsy when needed. Treatment options may involve immunosuppressive therapy to slow disease progression and protect renal function. In Sjögren syndrome, dryness of the eyes and mouth, sicka symptoms, can be managed with artificial tears, saliva substitutes, and topical therapies. Lifestyle changes like staying hydrated and controlling humidity can also help. Tailoring treatment to patients' needs is important for improving their quality of life. In Sjögren syndrome, treatment options for systemic manifestations include immunosuppressants like hydroxychloroquine and methotrexate, as well as biologic agents such as rituximab. Targeted therapies focusing on specific cytokines or immune cells also show promise for improving patient outcomes. Ocular complications, such as keratoconjunctivitis sicca and corneal ulceration, significantly impact the quality of life of Sjögren syndrome patients. Management strategies include the use of lubricating eye drops and gels to alleviate dryness and reduce the risk of corneal epithelial damage. In severe cases, punctal plugs can be utilized to increase tear retention, and surgical interventions may be considered. An interdisciplinary approach involving ophthalmologists, rheumatologists, and other specialists is often necessary for optimal management. Sjögren syndrome poses unique challenges in oral health management due to salivary gland dysfunction. Patients may experience increased susceptibility to dental caries, periodontal disease, and oral candidiasis. Dentists play a critical role in preventive measures, such as regular dental examinations, oral hygiene education, and the use of fluoride treatments. Collaborating with other healthcare professionals, including rheumatologists, is essential to provide comprehensive care and address the oral health needs of Sjögren syndrome patients. 
The management of pregnant patients with Sjögren's syndrome requires careful consideration of the disease's impact on pregnancy outcomes and the safety of medications during pregnancy. Sjögren's syndrome, particularly if associated with other systemic autoimmune diseases, may increase the risk of adverse maternal and fetal outcomes, such as preeclampsia and preterm birth. Close monitoring of disease activity, medication adjustments, and interdisciplinary care involving obstetricians, rheumatologists, and other specialists are crucial for optimizing pregnancy outcomes in these patients. Advancements in understanding the underlying mechanisms of Sjögren's syndrome have led to the development of novel treatment approaches. Biologic agents targeting specific cytokines or immune cells, such as interferon alpha and B-cell activating factor, are currently being investigated in clinical trials and show promising results. Additionally, new therapies aimed at modulating immune dysregulation and reducing exocrine gland destruction are being explored. These emerging treatment options hold potential for improving disease control and patient outcomes in the future. In conclusion, Sjögren's syndrome is a complex autoimmune disorder affecting various organs. Understanding its causes, diagnosis, histopathology, antibodies, extra-organ effects, kidney involvement, management, eye and dental issues, pregnancy implications, and emerging treatments is crucial for optimal patient care. Staying updated with research and therapies can improve patient outcomes and quality of life.